All right, this is a big discussion that has a lot of different branches that can go many different directions. And it's the topic of controller versus mouse and keyboard. Aim assist, mouse aiming, controller aiming, movement, all that kind of stuff we're gonna talk about today. And now I'm gonna try to keep this video not too long, you know? Okay, I'm gonna start with the hot topic that is aim assist. I think we can all agree that aim assist is an entirely necessary mechanic for controller players to compete with mouse and keyboard players in any aim situation. Well, maybe not any aim situation, but most aim situations. Without aim assist, the controller player is just going to lose because it's undeniable that it's easier to aim with your entire arm and wrist and fingers instead of just a singular thumb. However, people still complain about how broken aim assist is and how it shouldn't be in games because it's a robot doing a human's job and how games are no longer 100% skillful because of aim assist. And man, I can't tell you how annoying it is when I'm playing a game like Fortnite or Apex or something like that, where con controllers are huge in that game and somebody kills me and I just know they're on controller. I know that the reason they killed me was not entirely their own mechanics. I know that part of the reason that I died was because of a robot doing part of the aiming for them. And that's incredibly annoying when I know that on my mouse and keyboard, where 100% of the input is done by me, 100% of the aiming is done by my fingers, wrist, and hand. But we all agree that it's necessary, so where do we go from here? It's so annoying to play against, and it's crazy to know that the person you're playing against doesn't have to use only their mechanical skill, that they're getting assistance from another outside source, but we need to have it in order to maintain a fair playing ground. So obviously, we can't just remove it. Removing aim assist is not an option, and will really never be an option for any game that wants to keep a competitive controller environment, at least competitive with mouse and keyboard players. And also, most player bases for any really big game like Fortnite or Apex or any game that supports controller well, will be on controller. It's always the little kids on their Xboxes or Playstations or other console that are actually playing the game mostly compared to the compared to the smaller amount of people who actually have a computer that they can plug in a mouse and keyboard to. And you may think, well why don't you just find the healthy balance of enough aim assist but not too much aim assist where everybody's switching to controller. Because this is actually something we've seen within Apex where originally a lot of people thought mouse and keyboard would be better because mouse and keyboard movement, aim and mechanics generally were a lot simpler, a lot clearer, a lot easier to execute because you have more buttons and more control over what you're doing compared to controller where you have fewer buttons, only a thumb to move, a lot less customization over what kind of movement and mechanics you do unless you have like macros or a different kind of controller or something like that. So you'd say, well, why don't they just nerf aim assist? And the answer is actually what I just explained. It's because all the console players who are bad will notice almost any nerf. Maybe the top 1% of pros won't notice it because their aim is so good anyways that aim assist actually is not doing too much for them and they could actually do pretty good without aim assist. However, most of the player base who is not that good, who can't aim like a pro, is gonna actually notice this aim assist change, start missing shots, and be like, yo, game company, why'd you nerf my aim assist? Now I'm terrible at the game. And like I said, most of the player bases for these large games are all on controller. So now you're making the controller players mad, which is most of the player base, so now you're not getting revenue because people don't want to buy junk for your game if they don't like your game anymore because they can't aim. Now, as you can see, this situation is terrible. I can't, like, if I were a game developer, I'd probably just be like, out of there, man. I'd, like, take my billions of dollars and then just leave or something like that, bro. I'm not trying to deal with this. But this problem is huge and needs to be dealt with. Some game companies have dealt with it by just not giving controller support at all. We've seen games like Valorant and uh, CSGO and Rainbow Six Siege all just say, we're not gonna provide controller support. If you wanna go through all the junk that's required to get your controller plugged in and actually work in the game, go ahead, no aim assist for you, no specific controller support for our game. We wanna keep it to mouse and keyboard mainly and not have to deal with the problem of aim assist at all. And I don't think that's too bad of an approach until you try to take it to console, or right it just limits the amount of people that can actually play your game because when you say that you're just saying okay if you're on console too bad we're letting computer players play our game and if you don't have a computer you can stick to your fortnite and apex and other controller games which is why you see almost zero professional players on controller in those three games csgo valorant and rainbow six siege because there's no aim assist support, there's no automatic controller support, it's just not made for controllers, which is honestly a fine decision by the game dev, except for the fact that they can't take it to console without providing controller support, 
which then launches them into this whole situation with aim assist and controller mouse keyboard all that stuff now we've gone over two options one is nerf aim assist which we talked about two is say no controllers at all no aim assist to deal with anyways and three is to split servers meaning if you're on a controller we're gonna put you in a game with a bunch of other people who play on controller and if you're on mouse and keyboard we're gonna put you in a game with a bunch of people who are on mouse and keyboard and at first this idea seems honestly fine and dandy it seems groovy it seems awesome it should work for everybody however some games don't have the player base to simply split their players apart because then queues will just become so long you're waiting for 10 minutes because the game has to find a bunch of other mouse and keyboard players to queue you with instead of just finding all the console players throwing them in your game and you're set this does alleviate the problem of aim assist though because Mouse and keyboard players know that they're playing against people who are manually putting in every single input that goes into moving their camera or their mouse and keyboard unless they're like cheating or something, but cheating is cringe. And controller players know that they get the same advantage as the other people. They don't have to worry about a mouse and keyboard player who's been on aim labs for 16 hours a day, or they don't have to worry about other movement mechanics that they can't do, or faster rotations because of those movement mechanics, because they're playing against mouse and keyboard players. No, they're just playing against controller players who have the same input as them, so the same advantages and disadvantages advantages in their inputs as they do now one thing that kind of worries me is that valorant has actually hinted towards adding console in the future riot had a bunch of job listings for consoles meaning that valorant at least is going to be supporting controllers very soon which will shove them into this discussion and this problem even if they don't want to be involved they're gonna have to figure out a way to balance aim assist and mouse and keyboard now maybe they'll take the option of having weak aim assist or something like that to where Mouse and keyboard will still be slightly better, I guess, in the aim perspective, so maybe not as people, not as many people will play on mouse and keyboard, but it'll still be playable on controller, although that's a hard balance to manage, because then nobody's going to play on controller who has a computer. All controller players are going to feel like they're just outperformed by anybody who's on mouse and keyboard. But then if you try to buff it from there, then the mouse and keyboard players get mad that controller is too strong, and then pros start switching to controller, and it all gets into a messy spot. Or maybe they'll go with the split servers option. We actually don't know yet they haven't said anything about this so we're kind of left in the dark here until they do release it and state their position on this situation personally i do like the idea of split servers as long as the game's player not player base is big enough for it now of course that relies heavily on the fact that there's enough mouse and keyboard players and enough controller players to keep the game not dead where you're sitting in queues for five minutes or anything like that but i think a lot of big games nowadays are able to do that you probably would notice queues go up a little bit like maybe like 30 extra seconds or something like that since they're cutting out all the controller players or all the mouse and keyboard players respectively but i think that queues would not be too bad in any big game to let today like fortnite or apex or something like that however as soon as your game starts to drop off in player base and queues get longer that's going to cause more people to go play other games where you can get in faster and not have to waste your time sitting in five minutes of a queue which is just going to cause your game to start to spell it out out of control and then you're just done from there because there's not much you can do to bring back a game that people don't like the queue times on or the split servers or the fact that they have to wait a long time or whatever it may be so if you've got a big player base go ahead go for split servers however if you don't that's a hard position to be in i like valorant and uh csgo and rainbow six siege how they just decided you know what screw controllers they can go play other games we're gonna keep our mouse and keyboard players here however valorant is gonna have to make a decision soon and nerfing aim assist is just such a hard place to balance fortnite has gone up and down through nerfing aim assist a couple of times where they're trying to figure out just the right amount of aim assist to give the players where it's not everybody playing on controller but it's not nobody playing on controller and people crying about mouse and keyboard and the sad part is either way people are gonna be mad this isn't something that you can just like oh get the magic number and then all of a sudden everybody's happy no they're like wherever you put your aim assist amount there are people that are going to be like i hate aim assist aim assist shouldn't exist make controllers get good at aiming there's also going to be people who are like controller is unplayable i need more aim assist that kind of thing so it's impossible to strike a balance it's annoying to split service because queue times go longer and you can't really just cut out controllers as a whole because there goes a ton of your player base and now you may be thinking well encourage what in the world are they gonna do and the answer is that's for them to figure out and not me goodbye